Okay. So this is what we are going to do right now. This, uh, this session is to explain like how Airbnb works. So let's log into airbnb.com. Sorry, your screen is not showing. Okay, one second. Okay, so this process is, is to uh, show how Airbnb works. So Airbnb is something like it's a short-term rental. Let's say you are traveling to anywhere in the world. So you want to find a place. Let's say you want a place to stay in, uh, uh, you know, Bangalore, Karnataka. And you can also put exactly where in Bangalore, like, you know, Whitefield, let's say Whitefield. Whitefield, Bangalore, Karnataka. So I'm traveling, let's say I'm traveling to Bangalore. I need a place to stay. The place are all our houses. The Airbnb doesn't give hotels, doesn't give lodge. It's all houses. The houses are basically the people's house. Like so if somebody is going away from the home or somebody is using only one bedroom out of three bedrooms, so they will leave the balanced rooms to the in Airbnb. So a lot of international travelers, like travelers within India, they will come to Airbnb and they stay like in Airbnb because it's very cheap. And you can access the kitchen room, you can access the dining, you can access gym, you can access like swimming pool, all the facilities that is on the, the apartment, like on premium apartments. So Airbnb, so people, mature people who is traveling across the world, they'll be using Airbnb rather than spending like a large amount of money in hotel and they cannot cook in the hotel and they will find like traveling outside the hotel to find restaurants. So to avoid that, people will stay in Airbnb so that they can have laundry, everything, you know. So let's say I travel to Bangalore. So in the month of November, so I will find the dates like, you know, and see whether I see any, you know, uh, rooms available, like houses available or not. So this date, like location, so I made like I can see that, they, you know, Airbnb here. So you can see there are some hotels like apartments, like they will put it in Airbnb, but we can see whether it's a real house or not. So for example, this is a apartment where you can see, you know, so it has all the pictures, you know, uh, like kitchen, like, uh, you know, restrooms and all those things. So. So everything they'll display on the, and so we have a table to work, you know, all those things. So we need to know what is the price for this. Let's say the price for this, like 2,271 for one night. So I'm going to take eight nights. So it comes around 18,400 and cleaning charge is 1,500 service charge. This service charge goes to Airbnb. It's like 2,706. So I have to pay 21,876. Like, let's say I click reserve. So I have to put my credit card. I have to log into my account. So I, and I have to put my credit card. And then I can pay in Airbnb. Once that payment is done, Airbnb, the resource has to accept it. Or like, see, I have my credit card here. Like I can choose a credit card or debit card and uh, i can confirm and pay it okay before confirming and pay what i'll do i normally uh, you know uh, check with uh, uh, the host by con contacting the host directly you can see here contact host so i'll contact him hello so i have few questions is this near to Whitefield train station? Like something like whatever I need to know, like, you know, I will send them. The host will contact me before I pay the money, you know? So I make sure that the, the, the property is correct. Like, and I'll also see the reviews. This guy has 148 reviews. 
identify verified and he is a super host you know out of love passion hospitality i quit id on spending 12 years i moved into hotel industry presently owning hotels of 100 rooms inventory i give best experience okay so he has become a hotel like you know super host and uh, you know see he has a lot of reviews here so by seeing the reviews we can identify whether we can take in him on airbnb or not so same this guy has a profile for example this is a guy we can see who is this guy so his name is rajkumar so i will open rajkumar profile and i can see when he started the airbnb you know he must have started joined in 2019 and then he lives in bangalore he speaks hindi and like you know and these are the properties that he has we can see the number of properties that he has so he has so much of properties like almost like 10 15 properties he has <coughs> so and we can see his like reviews and all those stuff so as a traveler you can uh, search for places so at a hosting as a traveler as a traveler you can see anywhere in the world anywhere in the world like of houses so when we you host the house we log in to switch to host you know so this is where you become a host and this is a different page when you move from traveling to hosting this is like so these are the number of properties we have multiple accounts so we are, these are the number of properties that we have 1 2 3 4 5 properties okay so these properties you can see lovely uh, you know apartment in uh, let's say we we charge like 3785 uh, 84 dollars so these are the things that we have uh, in the thing like so we when you create a new listing listing means we have to list the property so on the right hand side you can see create listing and then once you are creating listing you have to mention a nice word is it going to be a flat is it going to be uh, like your house listing like you have to create new listing so you will be creating a new listing and then you will be adding properties like you know you will be taking pictures of the properties from different uh, because right now we are we don't want to give you guys the existing uh, account because something goes wrong the whole account goes off so we have two three accounts with us because you can see my profile so my profile was started from uh, 2016 okay so i have 23 reviews and these are the properties that we have you know these are the top class properties that we have and this is one of the finest property that we have in bangalore you can see these properties so this is a flat that we are currently staying so it has swimming pool it has everything you know um but we we, we don't stay here we stay on the above floor of this properties and we have like other apartments in prestige shanti niketan so we have multiple houses in bangalore and we do have houses in mumbai so airbnb brings us like a lot of revenue like this house we normally like we make like 50 60000 rupees indian money and uh, <clears throat> when we give the house for 4000 rupees per day we make almost 1.2 lakhs per month so that's why the team is been deployed on the back end to make sure that all these properties are like fully booked okay so there are many techniques how to make this properties fully booked but anyway from our own listing we get inquiries every day so i can see who is checking out tomorrow like you know what is the future bookings so i get inquiries like these inquiries are incoming we cannot go and uh, you know uh, find the customers so airbnb has high traffic rate so once you list your property automatically in, you know inquiry comes the inquiry comes in two different categories one is like your price if you lower your price the lot of inquiries will come so we will lower the price and then we'll we'll make sure that all the inquiries comes here 
but on the description of the property see this guy is asking for like three nights for 5800 but he is thinking that this property whole property per night is like only 1500 no the whole property per night is like 4500 so to increase the traffic like your search results when your search result has to go up you have to keep it in a lower price but we, what we do we we normally on the property listing so we add on content saying that when you go to the property listing details so we have a content here so, so we have mentioned like our we our background is we run a large it company across india we are headquartered in the us so we are charging 1500 to 2000 rupees for each room for whole house it ranges from 3500 to 4000 INR. So we put this content inside the Airbnb rules so that we will tell the customer, hey, go and see the rules. Like, you know, this is not the price that you are looking for. So this rules will be like kept in all the listings. Okay. So uh, I have two teams I need. One team, if somebody is like, let's say Sandeep messaged you by 12.57 a.m. Okay. But the response what we are doing uh, and Sandeep also again uh, mentioned like after half an hour he is mentioning like you know he is chatting with us the, we need a team where they can respond to these guys instantly let's say if he is pinging high on 12.57 you guys have to respond within like 20 seconds okay so how you will get notification if I add you as a co-host you know, so in each listing, I can add you as a co-host. Right now, it's showing Raja. If you add, if you've been added as a co-host, let's say, uh, go to listing, and then update, and uh, we can add you as a co-host here. You know, add as a co-host. So you should, the co-host should create first an Airbnb account. Okay, creating an Airbnb account is very easy. Okay. So, so once the co-host is added and they'll be talking on behalf of me, not from the main account. So I need a team which, which should run like 24 bar seven, like 12 hours a day. So that if you've been added as a co-host, you will get a SMS on your, on your, like once the Gaurav is like messaging, let's say 948, you will get a SMS instantly. Immediately you have to open your mobile app because your account will be logged in that mobile app then you have to respond back. So normally how like certain two things, you can take the reservation in Airbnb because the price is very less here for two nights. We are charging like 5,818, which is very less because the price is almost like 2,600. We need to charge them like 3,500 and all the stuff. So we give the number like, so we, we hack the content and we put the number like this so that Airbnb algorithm doesn't, understand these kind of you know uh what do you say this kind of number so that you know airbnb doesn't allow you to share your number direct numbers like you know they'll block your account so so that they think that they will go out of the system and then the money will not come to that system so what we'll do we'll give them a number uh, which is like like this format so it goes to shalini madam and she will take the a call with a guest, convince them, hey, did you see the description that it's mentioned clearly that it's for one room? And then they, they will ask like where it is located and all those things like, you know, they have to discuss and then they will pay the money offline. They will send the money directly to our account, company account. So we will be creating a co-host uh, for these people. Uh, and uh, we need very mature people to handle Airbnb because it's very complicated. Uh, if you do one single mistake, like let's say you go and approve this, again, you are done. They will, if you approve this, this price will be finalized and you cannot cancel. If you cancel it, they will charge you $100 fine. So before approving any, any uh, uh, Airbnb request, normally we don't take directly from Airbnb because we take the bookings offline. Offline means we take the money directly in our account. Why they should come offline means... If they do it in Airbnb, sometimes we put a higher charge, like actual 4,000 rupees, but 500 rupees Airbnb will charge. Like, you know, so long-term people, they won't, 
go with airbnb because they want to avoid like at least like 10 to 15000 they'll save if they give the money directly to us you know so the moral of the story is like i need a team who can keep monitoring this uh, messages and keep you know chatting with the customers and push this number to in the chat i don't want you guys to chat like detail about the properties and all just put them this number that's it and make sure that and we have a calendar here on the calendar you can see how many uh, like what's the price of the like say this then like per day like 2900 3200 so we need to make sure that this prices are all like 1200 300 <coughs> so you get a lot of inquiries so i cannot keep putting like lower price on this account because this is a main account we have three main accounts with us so what we what the plan is like as we are having a lot of employees we will make the employees to create one airbnb account is easy to create one airbnb account and we will tell them to put listings that listing has to be in whitefield area we will give them areas so let's say i'll give you like let's say renuka i give uh, i'll tell renuka to create one airbnb account then renuka has to list all the properties like how we have listed here it will just take like only like 2 to 3 hours like to list properties so she can find out like pictures like this you know uh, in the internet like in facebook like you know a lot of like you know uh, like different pictures are there like so she has to collect a picture kind of thing and she has to post this listing in whitefield like that she will put like 10 or 15 properties it will take 24 hours to make the you know uh, things to be live Uh, and renuka will have a mobile app on the app she will know like what are the customers are coming and what not so you, when you give a lower pricing you will get like one month uh, bookings two months like they'll pay you 1 lakh 2 lakhs like advance okay so uh, so these customers like she will put the number of the madam like you know then definitely the person is going to ask the company proofs and all those things so we will give the our, our software company so they will see like whether we have a real company or not and then they will also come and visit our flat uh, a model flat that we have in bangalore and talk with the people in bangalore before they make the payment you know so every employee should have a listing and they can you know coordinate a uh, listing they they have to create like you know multiple listings uh we will give like bangalore like four five hot spots other number one hot spot is white field in white field there are so many areas so let's say we have 20 employees each employee will be creating like 10 or 15 properties in white field so let's say 10 employees into 10 properties 100 properties 100 property each property you get one enquiry you will get 100 enquiries every day so right now what we are doing the enquiries that we are getting from airbnb we are only utilizing those enquiries because we don't have multiple listings to get lot of enquiries so that we can keep our cost in higher mode if we have lot of demand only then we can increase our price so first we will create the demand already our properties are all 95 percentage booked only 5 percentage is left so with this team we will cover this 5 percentage and we will keep taking the bookings and then see every month we are spending like five properties and these people who is coming to bangalore city they will book well in advance like one month before two months before they will book well in advance so we keep taking properties in bangalore and keep we keep flooding so we need to have a like at least like 10 to 20 member team on the back end to create lot of listings in airbnb and create lot of enquiries okay so so she'll be creating a profile like let's say renuka or shushan will be creating a profile like this and then they will keep uh, take like listings and this is trust me this is all revenue every day every day we will make money on this every day okay so we can provide incentives for the people so this is the first cash flow so we can keep this cash flow high in running so that is this is first thing and second thing uh, this advance money let's say one guy is like see taking a one house will take you cost you only 2 lakh rupees okay but this house advance we will keep getting like you know 
so we'll get two lakhs three lakhs every week like you know people from netherland us so a lot of people come from different locations so yesterday we got one guy from uh, uh you know us i think it's in the other account okay so this guy uh, wants to have a house and he's coming from los angeles so he he wants to get like you know uh, uh two th- i mean two months so we are charging almost 1.2 lakhs so he is paying 2.4 lakhs one shot okay so this capital is with us so what happens we will put one field guy here in bangalore so that he will keep taking properties in bangalore you know so our goal is to have at least like 50 or 100 properties in bangalore right now we are holding almost like 13 properties 1 3 okay so another like 5 6 properties we have given already the advance we book like 20 days before 30 days before so once we have a large team on the back end we need leads we need enquiries so with that enquiries we can take like and main thing like if somebody is talking with a customer on the phone right now shalini madam is doing but she is having too much load okay so right now we need to have somebody in chennai office who can speak good english that's the first criteria we can close it if we you have hindi hindi ability that will give much confidence for the people because all these people come from north 95 percentage people come from delhi you know gurgaon all these people are not normal people they are all like salaried like 50 lakhs per annum 1 crore 2 crore all we 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 am i you know vps in companies and all those stuff so they want to stay in a nice apartment they don't stay in a local apartment because they want the city to be safe and i mean and the family to be safe in a nice uh, environment nice society so they need swimming pool gym and squash like all top amenities are in like in this apartment so we take apartments which is all high range apartment all premium top apartments only we take okay. so our rents are like 50000 60000 some apartments we are paying 80 90000 so uh, we tried one in velacheri which is also going good okay which is in chennai uh, but we our focus market is like bangalore and mumbai and delhi so mumbai we already have couple of flats which is going fully booked and uh, uh, for you know uh, bangalore is top number one in the in the whole india like has huge demand because all the top companies are here they are all well paid like the people who are coming here are all well paid and they have lot of money to you know pay for this so it's all the support even somebody pings you in the night at 1 o'clock 2 o'clock you guys have to respond and then you have to like right now shalini ma you can share the number what is like mentioned on there like shalini you know can take care you know uh, you know so but uh, but within couple of days i need a person who can take care of the calls and convince them on the phone like you know where the property is what is the property and all those things so you can also call her and she will guide you like what is a property about any clarification you can call shalini and then do it like so once you start the listing and then after that i will give you this main account to you guys like one or two main accounts i'll give you guys you can maintain those as well so the entire airbnb operation will be done from chennai let's say we have 30 apartments and we make 50000 rupees in each apartment we make solid 15 lakh rupees every month because people doesn't know the power of airbnb even we thought like it's it's a kind of like cheap uh, thing but trust me it's it's a huge business like you know so uh, so you can have the cash flow on the parallel mode for the team which is like doing like let's say we can pay the whole chennai team from this uh, revenue you know the it exports everything is running but still these are all like good money it's like every day cash every day okay so this is what so you can you need to first you have to create one uh, airbnb account okay so uh, we will go to a you know again session and uh, we will see how you are creating the airbnb account okay so we'll go with the other session right now hello guys do you have any questions 
नो सर ओके नो सर अनिल अनिल मेरे अनिल